It's Wednesday, July 15th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Troops loyal to Yemen's exiled leader have recaptured key territory from the Houthi rebels. Military sources say they've seized the airport in the country's second city, Aden. Fighting has escalated in the days since a UN-declared truce crumbled. Saudi-led airstrikes have forced the Houthis to retreat from the port city for the first time since they pushed President Hadi into exile four months ago. A stampede has killed more than two dozen people in southern India. The incident occurred as tens of thousands of pilgrims took part in a Hindu festival in Andhra Pradesh state. Participants believe bathing in the river cleanses their sins. The stampede lasted nearly 20 minutes. More than 30 people were transported to local hospitals with injuries. Farmers and cattle breeders in eastern Morocco are working together to fight the effects of desertification. Drought conditions and excessive grazing have destroyed the natural ecosystems. So the government has assigned locals with tasks such as tree planting. The aim is to decrease soil degradation and regenerate vegetal cover. Authorities hope the projects will reduce poverty so residents aren't tempted to resettle in larger cities. A new UN report on HIV shows the world is turning the tide against the disease faster than ever. The rate of new infections has fallen since the late 90s, and those with the virus can expect to live nearly 20 years longer than in 2001. The figures are attributed to improved access to treatment and the increased affordability and availability of antiretroviral drugs. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. This is a war that's killed over 6,400 people. Uh, and after the Balkan Wars, you know, we said that this would never happen again in, in Europe, and, and here we are. And there's not enough action on this conflict, and I think, I think it would be a very good idea if, um, if yeah, any candidate would come here to try and at least get a handle on the situation and uh, try and form some real lasting policies that can bring peace to uh, eastern Ukraine.